Hi everyone, it's Rax. I want to show you one of the absolute strongest builds in the Diablo 4 PTR, the Dust Devil Barbarian. Blizzard has been trying to make this viable pretty much all of Diablo 4's lifespan with no success. And then I believe it was Adam Jackson. He said, I love the Dust Devils, so I'm going to super buff them in the PTR and see what happens. And well, mission accomplished. And I think Blizzard has already kind of hinted that this is I wouldn't say on the chopping block, but they're going to tone it down in some way or another. And instead of showing you some ridiculous version of it with perfect everything, um, as something that might not be attainable for the common person, I'm going to show you something where, is, as we look through the gear here, most of my gear is not tempered at all, um, other than like some resistances for my gear. It's pretty much not tempered. There's no master working, and most of my powers are minimum powers. So this is absolutely a 1 million percent a barbarian that you can make. And how powerful is it? Well, I don't know. Let's see. What, what kind of sigils do we have in here? Um, a, a 95. Let's do this one. Um, let me show you my stats here. As you can see, I don't even have capped resistances, but I'm a barb. It should be just fine. Let's run a Nightmare Dungeon 95. Only the Pit and the Uber bosses are going to offer you a higher challenge than this. And this monster level is extremely high. This is way harder than the beginning levels of the Pit. Okay, so just to show you here, if we drink a Fortitude Elixir and throw on some incenses, we can actually already get to 46,000 health. You can see how crazy barbarians are. But essentially, I'm going to spawn Dust Devils when I shout. And you can see that they can increase in size. And I believe that there's also tempering for the Dust Devils. I don't have any of this. I just have the minimum power. Also, you spawn Dust Devils after you generate Fury. And then you can choose. You can either spawn Dust Devils from Double Swing or from Whirlwind. I chose to spawn them from Double Swing. Okay, here we go. Nightmare Dungeon 95 with kind of a, a super budget barb here. Here we go. Let's see how it goes. Uh, you can see there's tornadoes everywhere. Oh, and the entire room is dead. I did pretty much nothing. Okay. And when you get this build fully powered up, um, there are so many tornadoes spawning, and they are actually are such a gigantic size that it actually causes performance issues. So I'm going to be... It's kind of like the same thing when ball lightning existed. When the world boss would spawn and everyone and their mom was playing ball lightning sorcerer, you could actually feel the entire game lag as all the ball lightnings were hitting the world bosses and just like, it would almost crash the game every single time. And it's not just this build. I showed you yesterday how many frozen orbs are being thrown. And now we have the bone spear necro where their skelly mages are throwing bone spears as well. Imagine how many bone spears we're going to be getting from that. So certainly in this patch, the fun has increased tremendously, but I'm expecting performance to be definitely in question. So uh, I'm expecting them to make some corrections here, and they've already kind of hinted at that. I don't have like a blue post to show you, but Blizzard's kind of hinting that this is going to need to come down. And as you can see, I, I'm not even paying attention. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. And you... You can magnify this damage and you can magnify the size of these tornadoes tremendously from this character, like multiple, multiple times over. So um, when you reach that level, not only do you completely trivialize the entire game, but also you're going to be able to crash everybody's computers who's, who are playing on an Etch-A-Sketch or a Tamagotchi. Okay, so no problem here. Nightmare Dungeon, what is this? Nightmare Dungeon 95? I mean, it's just a joke. There's absolutely no challenge here. So, uh, expecting this to come down, but honestly, my, my general sentiment to Blizzard is, you know, obviously fix the bugs. There's some bugs with some builds. You know, this happens every single season where some builds are doing billions of damage and one-shotting the uber bosses. Definitely need to get the bugs out of the game. And we don't, want, we don't want a build that's like 30 times stronger than anything else in the game. That's not healthy for the game either. But in general, when you inject fun into the game and people are enjoying it, I think it's definitely okay to release it kind of on the strong side. I don't think anyone's going to be upset about that.
Okay, well, let's just finish this off here. I I would, I'll be honest with you, I'd be lying to you if I wouldn't enjoy to sit here and make the god tier bar, but I really have too many other things to test. I'll tell you another thing that I tested. I don't think I'll make a specific video on it, but I tested companion druid leveling today. I was really hoping that it was going to be pretty godly now that the companions have been buffed. And while I will say the leveling for that was comfortable, it was, I didn't have any issues, it was fine. It was definitely felt slow, and it was way slower than Necro Minions. So, Companion Druids are certainly better, but they're certainly behind the Necro Minion fantasy, which I think actually is maybe part of their design goal. I think they said that they don't expect druid companions to be anywhere near necro minions but i don't i don't know why that has to be the case but you know whatever okay, let's see how hard this boss fight's gonna be here we go me versus the dead mother god i hope you like tornadoes i'm actually very impressed still alive amazing okay let's spawn some more tor and gone okay <laughs> so um this is the tornado barb again imagine if you had leveled up this power I just have a, a bare minimum one from the Codex. Imagine if you had the one that made it 40% bigger. You can imagine the absolute pure and utter destruction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to see like the final patch notes and to see what Blizzard is going to do or at least get much closer to the season start date so we actually know how things are going to go through. And then I'll make some planners for you and I'll show you guys some godly builds and it looks like every single class is going to have something godly next season. So should be really fun no matter what class you want to play. And uh, Blizzard has certainly made the game a lot more fun. That's for sure. Thank you.